What's going on guys? Mickle here and in this video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to set up and utilize the Zum wallet. The Zum wallet is an XRP centric wallet that lets you utilize a lot of different features on the XRP ledger seamlessly and efficiently. I am a big fan of the Zum wallet and it's grown to be one of my favorite wallets in a growing crypto ecosystem. The Zum wallet lets you do things very simply and efficiently and lets you access a lot of different features of the XRP ledger ledger that might be more difficult to do otherwise. For that reason, the Zum wallet is one of my favorite applications and one that I think every XRP holder should have and know how to use. Just so you guys know, I am not sponsored by Zum in any way, and I'm really just making this video to bring you guys some more information on how to efficiently use the application and some safe practices you should always keep in mind when setting up any crypto wallet. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure you like and subscribe it's going to help me out so much in the youtube algorithm and it's going to help more people see this video just like you are with that said let's jump right into it and i hope you guys enjoy this video as you can see we already have the zum application downloaded on this phone it's up in the top left in the blue with the x and the check mark on it if you want to download it for yourself all you have to do is go to the native app store on your phone type in zum XUMM, -M, and it should be the first or second option that pops up. You can download the app right there, go to the application, and then open it up. As we see right here, it says ZUM and then gives us some details payments and payment requests on the XRP ledger, user friendly access, security first send and receive xrp the zum app is super clean super easy to use and also a great way to access the xrpl the zum application is an xrp centric application and wallet that i believe is an application you are going to want to use to really use all the best features of the xrpl the zum application also does a lot to increase the security of the application and i believe and based on the crypto wallets i use is one of the best at maintaining a high level of security because of that you're going to want to do everything on your part to also maintain the this very high level of security and i'm going to walk you through that through this entire setup process so we're going to want to hit start and we can see set up a passcode i'm going to choose a very easy passcode because this is not really an account i'm going to want to use but make sure this is a very safe passcode and we're going to type this in real quick and we're going to say use anyway and type that in again and save there we are next it's going to ask us to use a face id or a fingerprint i highly suggest setting this up biometrics are one of the best ways you can add another level level of security to your crypto wallet as there are infinite combinations of a face id or a fingerprint and is going to be very hard for hackers to sneak into your account if you have this enabled Therefore, I highly suggest you set this up. I'm going to hit maybe later because for the purposes of this tutorial, you guys do not need to see this. But if you hit yes, it is very easy and will walk you right through the process of setting up your face ID and fingerprint. Next, I would also highly suggest enable, enabling push notifications. These are going to go a long way in just making the usability of the app even better. This is already a great app and the experience is going to be even more seamless if you enable these push notifications. All you have to do is hit yes right here. I'm going to hit maybe later to keep moving. But next, we're going to walk through this essential six question or six step a uh, description of all the most important things you need to understand when utilizing the Zum application. The first thing is the Zum application is non-custodial. Your XRP is not held in the Zum application. Your XRP is held on the XRP ledger and the Zum application is just a way to access the XRP ledger. Therefore, if Zum was to entirely disappear, as long as you had your secret phrase in your possession and safe, then your funds would be perfectly fine. 
This is because the ZUM application is just a portal to access the XRP ledger. It's a gateway and all the value and all the transactions happen directly on the ledger. Therefore, the ZUM application is non-custodial and does not hold any of your funds. It's just a way to access them and a very good way to access them at that. Next, you're gonna wanna keep your secret safe. This is your secret phrase. This application is going to give you a secret phrase which is going to be directly tied to your account on the XRP ledger. This is how you will always have access to your funds even if the ZUM application was to go away or you were to lose your phone and have to get a new ZUM application. You are always going to have access to your original funds as long as you have this secret phrase. What you are not going to want to do is create any digital copies of your secret phrase. No screenshots, no Word documents, nothing that could ever touch the internet or be on any kind of electronic device. You want to take a nice firm piece of construction paper in your neatest handwriting with a pen that won't smudge and write down your entire secret phrase double check it, triple check it, and then copy it onto another piece of paper and keep it in an extremely safe location. This way, if anything was to ever happen to Zum, your phone, or anything else, you will always be able to regain access through of your funds through your secret keys. We're gonna hit I understand, keep moving. Next thing, transactions are permanent. If you send a transaction to the wrong person or do a transaction that you later change your mind, you cannot contact Zum and say, I don't wanna do this transaction anymore. Once a transaction is made, it is permanent. You're always gonna to wanna to double check and triple check anything you do before you send it off. And as long as you're very safe, this should never be an issue. Just make sure you understand you will not be able to contact Zum if you mess up a transaction. We're gonna hit I understand, keep moving. And right here we get your funds live on the XRP ledger. We talked about this. XR the Zum application is non-custodial. Your XRP lives on the XRP ledger. The Zum application just allows you to easily access the XRP ledger. Since we already talked about this, I'm going to hit on I understand. And next it's going to say never share your secret keys. We also talked about this. Just like you don't want to create digital forms of your secret keys that hacks hackers could use to access your secret keys, you're not going to want to share them with anyone in your personal life. You're going to want to write these down, put them in a place only you know about, and keep them very safe. They are essentially uh, the keys to all, well, they are the keys to your cryptocurrency, and you want to hide them like you would hide any other or your crypto itself. You don't want the anyone to get access to these. They are critical to keeping your wallet safe. We're gonna hit I understand and move on to the next one. It's gonna say when you change your device. And we also talked about this. When you change your device, you're gonna be able to use your secret keys to regain access to your account. This is one of the reasons you wanna keep your secret keys very safe, but in a place you're not gonna forget about them. Overall, just think in 10 years from now, if you want access to these funds, most likely you are going to want your secret phrase. Keep your secret phrase in a place that will be safe for the next 10 years, and if not longer than that. Your secret phrase is the key to your crypto. You do not want anything to happen to it. Click I understand. Last of all, number seven, questions and support. The Zum team is very proactive. They're all over Twitter and do a great job of answering questions. If you need help, make sure you go to their website, let them know you need help, or go onto Twitter and ask them a question. They are very active in the XRP community and very likely could help you with your question. I'm gonna hit I understand and boom, we hit confirm. Make sure you read all that through on your own, Go through it, make sure you understand every single point. It is critical to being as safe as you possibly can when dealing with blockchain. We're gonna close out of what's new and we're gonna be brought to this page right here. Next, I'm gonna go over how to set up account so you can start putting funds into your Zum application. 
So once we're in the Zum application, we're gonna wanna add an account. This is going to be the account we use to access our XRP and other assets we might be adding or using on the XRP ledger. We can hit account right here, and we're either gonna wanna import an existing account or create a new account. If you already have an XRP wallet with a secret phrase, that is what you are going to use to import an existing account. So say you had an XRP wallet back in the day and you lost the phone that that wallet was on but you still had your secret phrase in that case you would want to hit import an existing account and this is one of the reasons you want to keep your secret phrase safe so if we hit import an existing account we're likely going to want to use the full access account because this will give you the most features on the xrpl we're going to hit next and then we're going to type in what our secret phrase looks like so as you can see it can be a secret phrase of numbers a family seed or a mnemonic based on 12 16 or 24 words it's really going to depend what your secret phrase originally looked like that you're importing kind of impossible for me to know but once you realize which one you have it should be pretty obvious you're going to hit next next i understand and then fill out your secret words once the, once this is done you will have then have access to your funds that you had set up with this specific account. Next, I wanna show you guys how you would create a new account if you don't already have one. So if you are creating a brand new account, this is the very important part where security is key. You are gonna want to write down your secret phrase on a piece of paper and put it in a safe place do not store it digitally. I know I keep saying this, but it's very important to stress. We're gonna hit create new account, read everything through. I'm gonna hit next, I understand. And it's going to take me through my secret words. We can see right here, this one is going to be secret numbers and it's going to have a row of numbers for each letter. So we're gonna to want to write all of these down and once we write them all down, triple check everything. So you're gonna to want to write it down exactly like you see it on your screen, go through this entire thing and double check it. Once you have that all written down, we're gonna go through this entire thing and it makes you sit on each one for a second. So you're, it's now gonna have you confirm the numbers. You're gonna go through and retype all of your numbers through this entire thing and make sure you wrote them all down correctly. This is going to ensure that you did not make any mistakes and so that when you go to reaccess your account in the future, you will know that you wrote down the right numbers and didn't make any mistakes. So I'm gonna go fill this all through right now and then come back to you guys with what it looks like once you have an account fully set up. So we just finished confirming our secret phrase and we are gifted with this public address. This public address is what you are going to use to fund your account. This is the address you type in when you want to send funds to the account you just created with that secret phrase. The secret phrase should never be sent to anyone or seen by anyone other than yourself. If anyone else is asking for it, it is a scam. On the other hand, your public address is public and can be sent to others if they are gonna send you funds. It should also be utilized by yourself to fund your own account. It's very important to fully understand this distinction and make sure you rewatch this a couple times if you didn't quite understand it at first. Where we're gonna hit is next and read through this. And after you read it, you can hit next, I understand. Next is gonna give you some extra security possibilities. I think standard is fine, but read through them both, make sure you understand them. And if you think you want the extra security, then you very well can do that. I'm just gonna hit next right here. And next is gonna ask for an account label. I'm gonna give it Mickle Markets and make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're still here and enjoying the content. Congratulations, we have just set our set up our Zum account. And I'm just gonna walk you through something very quickly because this is the only thing that we're gonna address with this video, but I'm gonna be doing more videos going over other features of the Zum wallet. We can see right here, if we click this account, 
account uh, address at the top. We can very easily generate a QR code to supply funds to this account or simply copy the um, the public address itself through this copy button. We can also hit share and it will give us different options to send this public address and it really is just going to come down to what is most convenient. Like I said, if you are going to send funds to this account, this transaction cannot be taken back. So you're going to make sure whenever you copy this account anywhere, the entire address is copied. This is critical and it's also very good practice for when you are are funding this account to send a small amount or a test transaction first and make sure it is received on this end. This will make sure you are doing everything correctly before you start sending larger amounts of money. These are good practices I would highly suggest. Also, if you want to add more accounts, you can go into the top right and add more or more private keys so that you can have access to multiple public addresses or multiple XRPL accounts. This is really the basics of utilizing the ZUM application. Make sure if you have any questions, you put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to address these. In the future videos, I'm going to be going over more features such as how to set up trust lines, how to see your account worth, and other cool things on the uh, ZUM application. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. It really goes a long way to helping more people see this. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And for now, Mikkel out. Hey!